Good morning, everyone. It's Megan Rapino here. Hi, this is Sue Bird. Good morning. We're taking over today. We can't wait. Follow along and check out what we're doing in our day and uh, how we learn from Crave Health. Bum, ba -da -bum. So Crave Health is an integrative health practice. It's located in Bellevue, Washington. It's got registered dietitian nutritionists as well as counselors, and they can work with you in person or via telehealth, which is great for people like us because we travel all the time. We, we work specifically with Ashley. Rude. Oh, sorry about Cut that. Me off. Well, As I was trying wrong. to say, we worked uh, with Ashley Bessiker, who is also a registered dietitian nutritionist, and Megan's gonna tell you a little bit about all of it. Okay, so she does this really amazing thing called nutrigenetics, which is basically looking at the individual architecture of a person and then designing the whole plan based on that. So nutrition plan and training plan. Um, it's pretty incredible. We loved it. So just so you can get a quick understanding of what we did, we basically did uh, 23andMe, gave a little saliva, and then we gave our blood work as well. And then from there, Ashley and her peeps are able to like, I don't know, dissect Poke us or something. Up. It's awesome. All right, so it's go time. Let's do this. Follow along in our day, see what we're up to, see what we learned, and uh, hopefully have some laugh and learn some things. Bye. Okay, I don't actually need to go on more vacations, although, it is like really gray here. So one of the more interesting things that I learned through this whole thing came through the micronutrient test that kind of gets like a deep dive into the nutrients in your body and what you're getting and what you aren't getting. Obviously for me, vitamin D is a huge one. I mean, as an athlete, that's essentially the whole point. Deplete yourself as much as you can, work as hard as you can, give everything you have uh, to try to be the best. But in doing so, um, you're basically using up all of your energy stores. So I need to top up in areas. I need more B-complex, I need more vitamin D so I can be in the best shape I can be in, obviously for when I go to Hawaii, duh. Hey everyone, Sue here. Uh, just want to tell you guys a little bit about what Megan and I got done and how it relates to the pic that I just posted. Um, so what we did is we got the cardiometabolic panel, the thyroid panel, the hormone panel, and a micronutrient panel. And out of all of these for an athlete, the micronutrient panel is the most important. So that's why I wanted to kind of show you the change that happened in my vitamins. The before pic is what I was doing before. And as an athlete, you know, I felt like I had every box checked, nutrition, training, you name it. And so it was really interesting to see that when I got all of these panels done, what showed up was that I was deficient in some areas. So um, I guess the bottom line is you can never be too sure. So you saw my before, then you saw my after, gotta get on it. So funny story about Mamma Jammers. That's my mom, call her Mamma Jammers, Jammers because she has like a thousand pairs of PJs. Anyways, every day, basically since like midway through college, she asked me, are you okay, honey? You seem really tired. So, you know, Ashley's putting us through all these tests. We got like our blood tests. We did a thyroid test. We did like micronutrient tests, blah, 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 blah. Turns out my thyroid is a little out of whack. And I'm like, yeah, mom, I'm tired. I'm a professional athlete and I'm working hard. And yeah, I'm pretty much tired every day. So your thyroid is very important um, to your mood, to your overall energy, controls your hormones. Um, so I'm in the process of figuring that out, which is exciting. Um, and mom, you were right, great. So like we've already discussed, uh, not only does Crave Health check out your blood, but it also checks out your DNA, your genetics, and the combination of all that ends up uh, being interesting in some of the findings. So as you can see in that last picture, you know, you take a look at, at the almond milk. I'm not lactose intolerant, but I have a little bit of an allergy to it. So, you know, Ashley, she recommended that I cut out lactose for my season. The other thing as you see is uh, the gluten-free bread. Um, again, not like a big gluten issue, but I have a small allergy to it. So. So another thing she recommended cutting out for the season was gluten. And then last but not least, might be the saddest of all, um, she recommended I only have a cup 
at the most a cup and a half of coffee a day. Now I'm not a huge, huge coffee drinker, but I definitely partake. So basically I just have an issue with clearing caffeine from my body. I just don't, um, I don't know if digest is the right word, but I just don't clear it well. So it kind of lingers, it sticks around. So if I have more than a cup and a half, it's not good for me. And truth be told, I would get like crazy jittery. So it's probably a good thing all in all. So this one is kind of um, funny and not funny all at the same time. We can take a lighter approach and then um, a heavier approach and I'll explain both. So basically I have this DRD2 gene which is associated with lower avoidance of mistakes, which basically means I make the same mistakes over and over again, which to anyone in my life, I don't know, it might ring true. So that's good to know though, because I know that I need to focus more on like processing through my mistakes and really understanding why and taking the time to understand why and go through that so I don't make the same mistakes again. Awesome. The other side of that is that it can also be associated with addiction um, and addictive behavior. And I definitely have addiction in my immediate family and in my extended family. So that's just something for me to be aware of. So another thing Ashley discovered in my good old genetics is that I have a satiety impairment, which means I don't know that I'm full. The messages are just slow in my body and so I just keep eating and I don't know that I'm full. And this actually does not surprise me because I already- I knew that whenever I went to a buffet, I had to slow down. I knew that whenever I wanted seconds and thirds and nobody else wanted that, something was weird. But it's actually really good to have somebody tell you and you can be aware of it and then self-correct. So I'm glad I know now for sure. Basically, everyone who knows me knows that I love soccer, but I hate running. And while genetically I have a lot of advantages to being an athlete and being fit and cardiovascular and all that, and like working out is so good for you and it's great for your health and I'll always work out in my life. I don't get runner's high. How annoying is that? So these little boots are made for walking and running. That's just what they'll do. <sighs> but like feel bad for me or something. I don't know. So another great aspect of this process is that you learn things like, do you have the heart attack gene? Do you have the Alzheimer genes, the breast cancer genes? Um, for some, this is scary for me. I kind of come from the place of, I'd rather know. And the reason why I'd rather know is because the sooner you can start down the path of prevention, the better, no matter what it is. Um, for me, I have two risk variants of the heart attack gene. So Ashley recommended that I read the heart attack gene book. And that's just one step in understanding yourself and preventing. Oh, also last but last but not least or whatever. This isn't just for athletes. This is for everyone who's just looking to feel better and to eat smarter and work out smarter and just in general live healthier and smarter. Also, science is cool. It's not just all about, you know, kind of the eyeball test and trying it out. Like there are some things and some tests that you can do that are proven that can like tell you things that even, you know, just your own feeling won't. And last but not least, thank you to Ashley, who um, was the woman that we worked with uh, through Cave Health. She's incredible. Call her out by name, go see her. Um, we had so much fun. She came to the house, she talked us through it. She was so wonderful. Okay, just to like wrap up the situation, um, basically the main things that I've gotten from it, like take care of your body and especially as an athlete, do anything you can to feel better and to get a little edge on the field. Just got out of practice. As you can see, I just got my workout on and uh, that's a good thing for me. Obviously as an athlete, keeps you healthy, but also I have something in my brain that does not clear like excitatory stuff well. So I gotta keep that exercise going pretty much now and the rest of my life. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining, she says hi. Thank you so much for joining us on The Takeover. Uh, we had a great time, it was fun, giving you guys some info and just sharing our story and what we've learned from Crave Health. Um, so yeah, we hope you had a good time. Thanks for tuning in. A couple things real quick.
quick because I don't know if people are worried about their information getting out there. All of your genetic information is totally protected by two great gals named HIPAA and Gina. Just kidding. You know, the, those medical things. Anyways, it's all going to be protected, so you don't have to worry about that. Again, thanks so much for joining us. We had a blast. Till next time. Click the links. Hit the tags. Click do the, the things. Get healthy. See you later. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in to such an amazing takeover today from Sue Bird and Megan Rapino. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to be teasing out a lot of the stuff that they mentioned today and expanding on that and telling you guys more about it. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much for tuning in and um, we will see you next time on the next takeover.